Alrighty, so does it mean that I can already go to like the boss there? So with small fry at the goal, it will instantly open? Oh, well, I will keep that in mind. Okay. Can't wait to see people like speed run this and find ways to like get past these like fuzz thing robobs. I feel like this will be an interesting game to see being whoa, speed run. I can't mash B on that because B is like jumping out of it is the case. I'll probably go back and do the other levels then. That's what I'll probably do. But yeah, interesting that, you know, you can just kind of find your own path up and not necessarily have to do all the uh, all levels there. I kind of like that, that style. I like that, but I will probably go back and try the other levels anyway. Oh no, it's the purple dimension. Hero gear. Let's go. I'll leave the camera off for now because it's probably about to immediately go into like a cutscene right here because this is absolutely a boss arena. Bam. Check it out, Agent 3. Oh no, it's ugly, bitch. Pretty tough, I can tell. How about this? We call it quits, join my crew, and we split the treasure. No. Ah, you want to resolve this Splatland style, huh? Fine by me. Dance battle to the death. Heels, get your wriggly butts out here. What? Is it the square thing again? Oh my goodness, the eel deal front. Wow. That's how it's gonna be, huh? Um, that's dance? Uh, um, yeah, it is neat that this one seems to focus a lot more on lore and I guess, you know, more story stuff there in regards to it. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> um, uh, it's silly. Um, but yeah, is that about the bread puns? I bring you eel puns. Oh boy. <laughs> well, so the ones with like real eyes are the ones that uh, we're gonna put ink into your fan. It's gonna completely mess up your uh, your GPU. What the heck do I do? What? Did I miss something? What the heck did I miss? No, 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 no. You are so dang mean. Mixing it up, are you now? Are you now? From the side is playing an anchor. Oh. So there's just like one side that I could climb up that I guess I specifically wasn't shooting there. Pew! <laughs> uh, it's so Philly. So Philly. So freaking silly. You gotta, you gotta love games that have like purposefully wacky physics. You know, gosh dang it. Gosh dang it! No! Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, whoops. Well, I thought there would be something all, like on the ground, so I was checking the other side. Is what I was doing. But yeah, you gotta love games that like go out of their way to have like janky, goofy physics. <laughs> you know, you love to see it. <laughs> oh man. All right. So then do that, and then pew 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 because he'll squeal while the captain's fired up. Okay. Okay. Now what? All right, all right, not bad. You ready to feel the pain? Stop. Now watch this. Dang, all my ink is gone. I was hoping that that would be something that changed between like Splatoon 1 and 2 compared to compared to 3. Is that, you know, your ink persists between stages instead of being reset every time. But alas. <laughs> my goodness. Ah! I got numbed. Gosh dang it. Come back around? Are you not coming back around? Yeah, I thought this was one of the hardest bosses, maybe because you rushed and never upgraded your equipment beforehand. Whoops. I mean, yeah, I kind of wound up rushing this at this point as well. I guess you could say. Pew, 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 pew. So silly. Okay, so can I get over there now? What? Okay, not yet, I guess. I guess I need to shoot more eels. I. <laughs> things I never thought I would say. Okay, so you're gonna be doing that. Doing that thing, my Bob. Pew, 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 pew. No, you better stop. Mixing it up. You're not. You can't say you're mixing it up when you do the exact same attack over and over again. That's like the complete opposite of mixing it up. Well, I guess maybe you are if you're doing this attack, but you know, we've also done it before, but you know, let's see here. Pew, pew, pew. Many pew, pew, pews. 
no not down yet somebody in the discord said something about the final boss potentially crash you're corrupting the game if you didn't beat it like you're saying if you fail the final boss something like that you so you wouldn't know but if that's true then yikes sounds like something that might be worth like looking into if that's a if that's the case that'd be like a serious issue i know that this game got delayed but with the whole situation with a uh, you know it having its release date switch a rude with xenoblade chronicles 3 with xenoblade chronicles 3 originally being the september game and splatoon being like the july game but splatoon going to a uh, going to september and and xenoblade chronicles 3 becoming the july thing there so kind of interesting how nintendo decided to switch a the release dates there <laughs> at least it means i now have like the full story of xenoblade chronicles 3 in the back of my mind and experience now but it means I don't get to experience Xenoblade Chronicles 3 for a fresh time anymore. <laughs> is the case. More a power. Stop. Stop. Hello, hello, Fury. How are you doing today? But yeah, in a different universe, Splatoon 3 would have been long done on the channel at this point. And Xenoblade Chronicles, oh my goodness, 3 will be the uh, brand new thing that I was doing right now. What the heck? What the heck? But yeah, let's just see here. I mean, that's a pretty severe bug, but generally this game is pretty smooth for you. Don't know if it's true or not. This is hearsay. Wait, like if it's not true that it's hearsay. I don't know why someone would be lying about that. I don't know why that would be. But yeah, it is probably very much worth looking, uh, looking into though, because that does sound like something very serious. There were some things about like Xenoblade Chronicles 3 that didn't work on release, probably because, you know, its release date was pushed forward a couple months. Most likely, like, bananas cooking did not work at launch, interestingly enough, but at least there was nothing, like, game-breaking. But it was really annoying how bananas cooking didn't work. At least it's fixed now, but it's still, like, pretty bad for a game to ship without, like, one of its main game mechanics working. And it's the kind of thing that you don't notice, like, any significant difference in during, like, regular gameplay. So you just have this placebo effect that it's doing something when it's really not. <laughs> so it kind of sucks. So people didn't even realize that that was, like, an issue for a good while. No, no, dang it, dang it. I'm sure Shulk, thinking about Xenoblade Chronicles, I'm sure Shulk would be really all about this. I'm sure he'd be really feeling it. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry, this game's doing it. So like, I don't have any reason to apologize if this game's doing it all the time anyway, you know. Bullets Pillar works about as well as Splatoon Multiplayer, always has you play five games and somebody's disconnected from two of them. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm just the freaking uh, kind of guy that doesn't even play multiplayer games like anymore nowadays. The only exception being Smash Bros. And that's usually just playing with Carvia nowadays for the most part. I don't really play against randos online anymore. Doesn't really happen. Well, yeah. sucks to suck. I wouldn't say it's better or worse on a technical level, just about the same. Though it feels way better because you don't have to deal with BS like Ink Armor Spam or Stingray. So they balanced it a bit better. Or something or other. No. 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 Oh my good gracious. I was. Oh, come on. Well. At least it's probably like final phase here, at least still, but that still sucks. I uh, tried to avoid the yields and I went right into the. Oh my goodness, the cube. I had no idea the yields were even out. That probably couldn't know us from like the dialogue and stuff, but oh my goodness, they're turning. Oh my goodness gracious. I wasn't expecting them to turn. I thought they'd go in like a straight line at me, like after they do like the far off turn, that is. That's what I thought. But no, apparently they have two watches, local and Tokyo time, so they know when to drift, I guess. But yeah, follow the exploring hamster ball with the crab tank. The crab tank seems pretty interesting, but I still don't like understand what like sets this game apart enough to like warrant a new title is what i still don't understand like there are some balance changes there's like some new weapon stuff like that but for the most part it just seems to be like the same game like there was more additions between like splatoon 1 and 2 so far i feel like with like splatoon 1 was just pvp but uh you know splatoon 2 introduced the idea of pve as well with salmon run with the co-op there but this this game just seems to be you know like expanded splatoon 2 i feel like is a thing i'm not sure what table turf battles is is that like a new thing new salmon run boss fights yeah but that's just another thing for like salmon run like i would be genuinely surprised if there wasn't new boss fights in salmon run 
if it was, you know, just the exact same thing that was before. I'll be very, very stunned were that the case. All right, pew, pew, pew. Well, yeah, more interesting engagement. Frankly, there's more strength and more weaknesses, so it's more powerful and weaker if you know how to fight it, like the overall game. I swear, I hear all these kinds of things from like Splatoon enthusiasts all the time, but like me as a casual player, I'm playing this as like, it's, it's the same. Corporate needs you to identify the differences between these two pictures. Like, I do like the new way that progression is handled in the single player campaign. I'll definitely give it that, you know? But, you know, as a uh, as a casual player, if I was looking at people playing this, I don't know if, uh, I don't think at this point I would have been, oh my goodness, convinced that this was worth buying like a new title. Yet. Like, gosh dang it! Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm covering this as a content creator who does mostly Nintendo content on his channel. But if I wasn't a content creator and I was watching this playthrough as like a casual player, I'd probably just be like, okay, I'm not convinced yet, like, to buy it. Like, maybe, maybe as the playthrough goes on, maybe I'll be convinced that it's worth uh, the price that I paid for it, like a full price game. But I haven't, uh, I haven't quite gotten the feeling of this was definitely worth it yet. You know, maybe it'll happen. Maybe it'll happen as this goes on, but I definitely don't have that yet, is the case. I can say, gosh dang it. I don't know how to get out of that situation. After you're hit the first time, it slows you down so majorly that you've already got like one foot in the grave and you don't really stand that much chance of getting out of there anyway. This is the case. But yeah, Splatoon 2 was the company wanting to franchise not die on the Wii U, rushing out a title, but it having a lot more like different stuff like the motion controls, the co-op, adding like a completely different way to play the game instead of just like the same PvP. Now having like a mix of PvP and co-op to essentially double like the things that you can do in a sense. That's kind of the way that I saw that there. Splatoon's the labor of love and shows what they actually wanted to make. It still just kind of feels like Splatoon. <laughs> this is the case to me. I don't, uh, I don't quite get it. As a casual player, rather than someone that plays like the multiplayer a whole lot, I don't quite get it. And the same thing was happening like before this game came out. I was looking at trailers and I was like, doesn't this look like the same thing? And all, and a lot of diehard Splatoon players were like, oh, but it looks so different. It looks like such a different game. I was like, does it? Does it really? And I don't, uh, I don't get it. I don't quite get it. Is it five to six times the hub? It looks pretty small as well. I've wandered around it a little bit, but you know, I haven't explored like every single nook and cranny, but it looked pretty small and self-contained as well. Was the case. Back alleyways and stuff. Couldn't you do that slightly in a Splatoon 2? And I don't know if, uh, I don't know if I've ever played like a video game and been like, man, I really wish that I could explore back alleyways. Like that's not, it's not really something that I get like super duper hyped about exploring per se. Just like, oh, that's a thing you can do, I guess. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of the way that I see it. Many, many people have used. Okay, I'm gonna like chill on the uh, outside here. Gosh, no! It's at one attack. At least there's something that you can do while waiting for matches, but... Whoa. But yeah, my impression so far is that it feels like expanded Splatoon 2. This is the case. And not like a brand new, fresh title. This is what I've been feeling so far. We'll see if that changes as this goes on. We'll see if that shifts. We shall see. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard to zigzag them at the end. Do I just have to like move into like the complete inner ring in general at that point? Um, did it have motion controls? Who would it bop? It had the Splatoon 2 had like the smart motion at least. But you know, I don't, <laughs> I don't know these games like the back of my hand. I'm just a. Off the top of my head here. Pew, 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 pew. 
This is the way we go. This is the way we go. Yeah, I don't. Didn't quite remember. Whoa. God darn it. No. 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 <sighs> I hate this attack so much. So much do I hate this attack. I'm trying to zigzag. I'm trying my best to do it. Okay, they're just around the outside now, I think, right? <sighs> my, oh my. Yeah, that part I remember. That's I remember, though. All right. Who have you? Send some eels back. Return to sender. Many, many people views. Gosh darn it. How many eels does it take now? This is ludicrous. Was it really? I don't. Well, they weren't all. All reused. Were they? I felt like Splatoon 2 was a lot more, like, full of a game than one, considering. You know, things like a co-op mode that one never had. Darn it! So it felt like there was so much more that you could do just because, like, it went from being a PvP-only game to a PvP and PvE. You know? Like, it's so much more in that a case. But this game just feels like more of the same. This is the case. More of the exact same, but just with a different coat of paint. Unlike 2, which actually added, like, completely new things. I feel like. Like, again, I haven't gotten super far yet, so maybe I, uh, maybe there'll be, like, all kinds of spicy stuff that I, you know, run into as I go through this. That's the whole reason why I do, like, you know, these full playthroughs and stuff. So we shall see, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not convinced yet. Gosh darn it! Please don't do the eel spin. I thought I was out of range of that. <sighs> Something new that I haven't tried before. Something that makes me go, whoa, that's different. This warrants me to pay $80 for a new title instead of just playing like Splatoon 2. You know, because I feel like as a casual player, if I want to play some Splatoon, it's like, well, I could pay like $80 ruse for like a new slightly better game, or I could just like not spend $80 and just play like, you know, mostly the same game anyway, you know? And I don't have anything that tells me that, you know, this is worth it being its own standalone game yet, you know, is the case. I just feel like I'm playing Expanded Splatoon 2 or like Expanded Octo Expansion or something like that. This is what I feel like at the moment. So, maybe things will change, but as of from what I've played so far, I haven't had like the price get justified to me yet. But again, we'll see what, uh, we'll see what happens. Hello, hello, Dracanaron. How go things today? Who have you? How many eels do I need to send to her? That might be a good idea. I can try it out. Well, that, um, did I do the thing where, no, God, what the heck? Yeah, quiet at least? What does doing quiet mean? <laughs> mean that you're being quiet? I, <laughs> I don't understand. Anyway, I assume that that translates to doing all righty though. But, uh, I'm doing all right. Just keeping busy with, like, a lot of university and channel projects. I've kind of been working on all day. Now here I am deciding to do, like, some late night chilling with another kind of channel project at the end of the day. Many pipus. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay. Is that okay? Okay. Pew, pew, pew. Bam. Okay. Well, I guess we did the thing. <laughs> You're way stronger than you look. But you haven't heard the last of Deep Cut. Hey, you'll miss me, huh? 
Wow, she just nuked her own yields. <laughs> Why is she? Why? I just like she was supposed to be like, yeah, I'm out of here. See you later. And I guess that was supposed to be like the exit, but it just kind of looked like an accidental explosion that made Team Rock be blasting off again. This is what it kind of looked like. Oh man, what the heck is this? What the heck are we assembling this time? Grab. Uh, he just stares back. Heck is this thing? I don't know what the heck this is. <laughs> you have some great work, Agent 3. And you got this thing, but not Gramps. This treasure, or at least I think that's what it is. We can keep it here for now. Okay. Copy? Near copy, over! Anyone listening? Here, read me, over! It's Gramps. Gramps, where are you right now? Callie Marie, my darlings, you're okay! Yep, we're okay. Wait, we should be asking if you're okay. Are you okay, Gramps? Are you okay? Bust our wolf! Oh, sure. I mean, I'm locked in some kind of dark room, which I guess ain't exactly ideal. I'll see if I can break out, over. Don't do anything too rash. We're tracking your signal right now and on our way. Call us if anything happens. Phew, I'm so glad he's okay. Come on, let's take a look at the new readings from his signal. Agent 3, if you want to go back to a previous kettle, just open up the menu. Might be useful at some point. Okay, keep that in mind. I don't know exactly what this, uh, what this is or what it'll form into. And yeah, I know that you were mentioning, like, new bosses in Salmon Run, and I would expect that to be the case in, like, a new title five years later. If it was just, like, the exact same bosses recycled, it'd be like, okay, well, what the heck is the point in anything there? <laughs> be the case. I would be very, very concerned if it was just, uh, the exact same bosses. Was this the trail that I made before? I'll do some of the, uh, kettles that I missed over there before. Um... Not even quite sure what that means, but it's something that I'll find out once we get to Salmon Run, I guess. Once we eventually get to that. So... <laughs> so, where exactly does it want me to go right now? Like, I can come back over here and do some of the levels that I didn't do before. 